Hey, how's everybody doing today? Welcome back. All right, first thing, go ahead and update everybody on what I've been doing. I went ahead and did some work on the spider spawner and the part that I worked on was the part where the drops go and where they are stored. So I decided to use that building upstairs for actual dispensing of where all that stuff goes. So let's go check that out. And here is that house here. I did a little bit of uh, detailing on the outside just to indicate that it is the spider house. Uh, but most of the stuff is in here. So I do have the chests for the individual items and a chest for the skulls. Um, and basically how this works is I have a item elevator via bubble elevator down here that shoots the items up and then into the flowing water to the left, which drops them into those hoppers there. Um, and that is basically coming down, can't really see it too much, but it's coming, meandering its way from the spider spawner output up the wall, up here, up this way, and then up into here, basically just dumping output into these two chests here. Um, and from there, I will take the individual items and kind of drop them um, into the chests where they go. And that is simply because this building's not too big and I'm not really trying to expand it outside of the interior room here. Um, just so it makes it, you know, still look normal from the outside. Um, so I do have the string chest, the eye chest. And if this looks weird, um, this is for anything that is more than what I get in this chest is gonna get converted to wool blocks and then dropped in this barrel. And this barrel feeds down into the wool chest downstairs. And there goes my wood block, but that's okay. <laughs> but basically those hoppers funnel down into the wood chest in the storage room, or the wool chest in the storage room, excuse me. Um, so basically convert the string into the wool, drop it in this barrel, and it goes downstairs. And realistically, anything else that I may want to send downstairs without actually having to go down there, I could just dump in there and it'll, it'll all end up in that wool chest downstairs. Um, so let me put this back here. And do I have any? Nope. I'm going to go ahead and fix this wood and I will be right back. There we go. All cleaned up. And yep. And so there's that and the barrels. And I kind of liked the way this kind of furnace thing looked here. So I left that just as a centerpiece. Um, but mostly, uh, oop, it's nighttime. <laughs> Did not notice that. But I do keep a bed in this house also. So just in case I need to sleep, I can. And we'll just keep that in this chest. Just in case <laughs> always need somewhere to sleep just in case and threw a couple two lanterns in here more than enough to keep the spawns out um, i'm gonna put a pressure plate there um, and then that'll be pretty much done with this house it'll be done done um, i might put a sign up or name it uh, depending on what happens in the future like i did with that house and if you didn't notice or glance i did do some work over here so let's go ahead and take a walk and check that out all right, and so that's kind of the path walk up view there. Um, I'm not too sure about the transition here yet, um, but we'll, I'll work on that at some point as well as the, the walls. The transition is always the tricky part. Going from this kind of a look to that kind of a look is a little tricky, um, but we'll figure it out. Um, I kind of put a big question mark in here because I'm not quite sure and done with it yet, but you know, we'll come back to that. And here we are at the front entrance. Um, I went ahead and just kind of did a little design on the ground here. Um, decorated this whole area. Did my little water. I may throw some like uh, grasses and things in there just to liven that up. But that's pretty pretty much done there. Uh, this is all safe on the outside so things can't come in. So this is like a safe area. I want to make this entire kind of area a safe area for mobs. Even if it's not lit up, which it is. Um, I went ahead and stuck some uh, mushroom shroom lights under there. Uh, just as little, little accent lights, but at night it lights up this whole area adequately. Uh, yeah, I did finish the entryway. Um, it's not going to be left iron here, um, as I'm feeling it's a little bright, um, but it will be some sort of a door. Um, not any redstone door. I'm going to save that for the, the good base later, um, but this will be just some sort of a door. And then I went ahead and did the walkway inside and I also started to work on this portion of things over here um, so you can see let me go ahead and get up there all right and so basically what we got going here hopper line is running underneath I'll show you that in a moment and then we have the piston rows with the observer and then you have the redstone signal kind of triggering all the pistons 
I am also going to throw a glass pane line right down the center, right across in the middle to keep the sugar cane from flying across and just kind of despawning. It'll all hit the center and drop down. Um, we'll do that here in a minute. Uh, let's go ahead and show you the downstairs, uh, wherever I put that. Here it is, right here. <laughs> This will all get figured out later. Um, but then we've got the hopper lines um, and they basically come in. Let's see if I can show you this here. Yep. So they come in from the water source. They come through and then drop down and then dispense the sugarcane into the barrels. And it'll be the same thing on the other side. That side's not actually done yet, but the barrels are set up. And uh, then this whole area will get cleaned up and look nice. Uh, and the other thing I wanted to put down here was the moving the portal down here and that I think is gonna be right here a nice big old portal right underneath the enchanting room and tuck it all in this building uh, that way I'm not listening to it like whooshing and being annoying all the time and so that is the progress on the house and I want to show a little bit of how the dropper works on the spider spawner drops and how that all works real quick before we move into anything new. All right, so here we are down here in the spawner workroom down here. And so basically how this works is the hoppers that were already installed to output to these chests, and this is gonna be the future site of the ender chest that's gonna go there, but that's just a placeholder for now, so ignore that. Um, but the hoppers now, I rotated them to dispense out this way. So they shoot out into here, drop into this uh, uh, dropper here dropper gets comparatored and it sees that there's an item in there repeats the signal pushes it out hits the block signals the dropper to dispense the item and as long as there's an item in the dropper it'll continue to circle and circle and i can kind of show you that here with a little i'm going to drop just like uh, just some dirt in here uh there we go yep and then as soon as it notices there's one in there it'll pop it out and it'll keep going i probably should have just put like five in there but that's okay <laughs> it's a good example and you can kind of see how it works there comparator detects repeats shoots it out signal trigger spit and then that basically like i was saying before goes up the bubble elevator meanders its way around and makes its way up into those barrels up top in the little house um, so that's how that works um i also moved this down and kind of finished out the edges of the roof here um and moving the switch is uh pretty straightforward um, the light is literally just a redstone line out of the back of the block the lever is on and then it comes down once you hit uh, 15 blocks or so um, or I like to put it right before this block so that it full powers this block put the redstone on top and it lights the light and then I just kind of brought it around did the same thing over here and did the same thing over here so then we have three lights and you can put as many lights as you want make a whole row of lights or whatever uh, but it really, especially with the 118 update, there's uh, not a need for excess of light now. Um, so, and that's really nice. Um, this is also where you can access the, uh, the abandoned mine shaft that is kind of under and around my base down here. I've kind of mauled it a little bit uh, and mangled it up uh, <laughs> because I haven't really been doing much in here. Walled up this section over here and just uh, kind of blocked it off so things aren't coming around my base. Um, but yeah, that's just the, the behind the behind the area. That's what's back here, if you were at all curious. Um, that's what it is. Go ahead and clean this back up here. Pop you back, and then boom, nice and cleaned up. And then uh, the only other thing I want to do is kind of clean this back up again. Uh, make this nice and nice and nice. I just wanted to show you guys how it worked. Um, so that way, if you wanted to build something like this in, in your world, um, you kind of know the basics of it. I also came in here and did a little bit of work in here. Um, I know I keep saying I'm finished down here, but it's likely I'll never finish adding crap down here. Um, but I went ahead and put some more of this stuff in. I do want it to be like this here and make it look like it's like rusty and, and like I'm in the sewer or whatever. Um, but until I get a bunch of honey comb specifically, um, I can't really keep it that way. So I'm just going to let it be green for now. And then once I get the supplies I need um, to make it look all this way, then we'll lock it in with the honey um, and keep it that way. Um, but yeah, I went ahead and just updated a little couple things, bars and iron and, you know, just make it look more bunkery uh, down here. And yeah, I can't sleep yet. Oh, well, it's close enough. Uh, once I get some sleep, um, then I am going to go ahead and get to work 
on finishing off the base up at the top of the hill because uh, I'm really, really, really wanting to go ahead and move to the actual base and get that side of things going. Um, so I'm going to knock out the rest of this base and we'll come back here once I'm done and we'll show you what I did. Okay, so check it out. Yes, it is raining. Um, don't really see the rain too much, so I figured I'd just let it rain and show off what I've completed. So I went ahead and finished the first floor. First thing I'm going to show you is the sugar cane completed. Um, so you got the glass in the center to keep everything on their side and to line everything up with the water. Uh, and then I'm just going to close this off here. There we go. And we'll go ahead and show you the inside completed area here. And so we got the glass and the new portal location right there. It's not been lit because I wanted to kind of do that on video. And I also want to break down the old one before you're basically turning on the new one. Um, but I did finish the downstairs area here. And that's going to be uh, <laughs> red vines uh, eventually <laughs> once I get all done. Uh, but here's the storage for the sugar cane. Uh, random junk coming in from above. And same thing on this side. We just have it split up. And in the center, I went ahead and took any gunpowder I already had and converted some paper and made some rockets. This is basically what this is going to be. It's going to be the rocket factory. Uh, so I have a slight change of plans on what I'm going to do above. If you have not figured out what that is yet, it's going to be little baby cat creeper farm here. Um, it's going to basically flow this way and come up. And I'm going to build the bow tie shaped one. I'm not sure exactly who the first person to design that one was. So if I have not found out by the time I post this video um, and you know, <laughs> post it out in the comments there because I don't want to take credit for it. Um, but you'll see which one it is by the time it's over. Um, and I'll do a little looking around and see if I can figure out who's, who made it first so I can credit them properly. But um, not mine, not taking credit, but I am building it because it is efficient. Um, and so that's going to be what I'm going to do next here. And just to kind of update a little bit about my thought process here, um, I went ahead and started the downstairs where we're going to make the subway for the other base, the primary base. And I built that kind of off of this wall here. And it's right down in here. So I have a path for the subway. It's going to go out. And just shoot straight over and if you remember from when we turned up the render distance that way is where the wide open ocean is is that way so i kind of want to build out there on the water nice little water base or something like that over there haven't quite figured that out yet um and basically i just kind of pulled out all the ores in here and didn't really do much of anything else i think what i'm going to do is actually put my wool farm down here do some like white glass and make it look very like laboratory -y down here as you ride through the, the tunnel on the minecart um, but that'll be for later on for now what i'm going to do is get that creeper farm going up top and get that going so we can get our rocket stash sorted so when we go to the end we can have uh, a way to go around once we get our wings whatever that's going to be but i like being prepared i'm going to go ahead and get that creeper farm going and we will return once it's all done
So as you saw at the end of that clip there, I built an AFK little shelter up 120-ish blocks above and let it AFK overnight just so I can kind of get some idea of what kind of rates I'll get. I went ahead and funneled down the drops from the creeper farm and followed along these hopper lines to come down here and they just dump into this chest <laughs> and, or this uh, barrel and I have them extended out into this way so I have quite a bit of gunpowder already um, just from like the one overnight AFK session. Um, the reason this side is a little fuller is because it's a three hopper system up there so one of the hoppers is is going to the left so there's two hoppers going this way and only one going this way but that's all right it's, it's not really a big deal to me um, they're gonna get used up anyway and if it overflows or backs up or anything each hopper is another five spots and there's a whole bunch of them i think like 20 or so between here and up there so there's there's plenty of storage I'm not worried about that <laughs> um also i switched out the floor to get the coal blocks just because i think the red was maybe a little too bright in here um, there's already enough red in this room right here as it is. Now go ahead and show you the hoppers up there. Basically all that is is hoppers coming straight down into the ground and funneling right into those barrels directly. Um, and I wasn't able to show off this because of the tight quarters here. Um, but basically the water that you saw coming this way down this channel is stopped by these signs. The creepers fall into this little two block high space that they can't get out of, land on these campfires and their drops go into the hopper line that's uh, pretty nice I like it and let's, let's get this all situated boom there we go and then it's all closed off no creepers can get out um, but aside from that the only other thing that I really want to clear up and clean up in here is this space um, I definitely don't intend on leaving this here like this um, I like the spot that it's in uh, but I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come into here um, and throw like a ladder and then have like just to go up to that other level close this back off like it was before and then come up like right here or something like that and then just continue or start this here and just bring it up i'm probably not going to leave it that i will probably leave the little chamber um but the actual path up here with the scaffolding i'm probably going to just barrel it and, and keep it next to it for when i want to use it um, so that way it's not like an eyesore because <laughs> i hate looking at ugly stuff um, but it's, you know, I might be building ugly stuff, but who knows. Um, and it is time to sleep, so let's go ahead and get into this. And so now the only thing that I really want to do to finish this, uh, above the ground section off is maybe just wrap it, put a facade on this. I don't really have any plans to expand this. You can put more levels identical, just stack them. Um, but I really have no need for that as, you know, it's a single player. I don't really need more than what I've already generated and am currently generating. Uh, but if you're playing on a server or something, you may want to stack it up um, or even build it somewhere. Now that the build height is much higher, you could probably raise it up and, and help with spawns below the bubble. Um, but uh, that's that, you know, that's a whole different thing completely. The next thing over in this side of town that I want to do is actually knock out that portal and get the new portal lit. Um, so that way this is all done as far as portal goes over here. And I don't have to worry about that anymore. And it's kind of out of the way because uh, this is definitely out of place not in a good spot it looks ugly it makes a bunch of noises you know it is what it is uh, but we're gonna tear this down here and we're gonna get the other one activated all right and that is all cleaned up and nice nice and now we can have our little area here without the portal being all bleh in there so next step is to go ahead and turn on the new one after i drop off all this junk that i just grabbed and here we are in the portal room here get ready to light it up just making sure i don't have any random junk blocking it like i had a torch here one time and i was like why won't my portal light you there was a torch on the wall that's been situated and check it out Woo! all right new portal nice walk right through it to go upstairs Let's check it out through the tinted glass here. Oh yeah, okay. Looks nice down there. All right, I'm kind of happy with how this turned out. Not this part, but that'll get situated soon. Aside from that, I like it. The The whole portal looks nice. The path here, you know, it, it's just kind of, you know, it's nice. I think I may have to do some spawn proofing or something. Uh, not spawn proofing, but maybe some rails to keep the the entities from the other side from randomly wandering in here kind of don't like the rails i do like the rails because they are effective but i don't like how they look they just look very strange 
I'm gonna find another something to do here to keep them from wandering this way. But we'll see, that's not really uh, on the top of my list of important things to worry about. What is on my list of important things to get done is this facade. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that next. And uh, I'll come right back here once I get that done. Ain't gonna be nothing fancy, just something to cap this off, make it look nice from over there, you know, over there. <laughs> and uh, take this down and rework that little entrance to the upstairs there. Um, so that way it's not like obvious in the main room that there's a, you know, just a, a thing up there. So, <laughs> and we'll be right back. All right, so I finished the facade and ignore the zombie villagers. They just don't know when to be quiet. Um, <laughs> but I wanted to show off the view up close here first. Um, and so there it is. Um, big, you can see it from the center of town. Kind of exactly what I was going for. Um, still haven't decided about this path up here, but uh, you know, I'll get around to that at some point. It's very flat and, and kind of just uh, nothing fancy, <laughs> like I keep saying, but I will come back and kind of do some decorating and making it look better. I did want to just kind of finish the actual building up so then I can get to the decorating down the road. I promise that the back is done. Just take my word for it. We're, we're you know, we don't need to go look at it. Uh, but it's totally done. Uh, most of the stuff I did was inside, so let's go check that out. I went ahead and threw the ladder up to go up to that center level here. Um, made the middle room to kind of house the stuff that you need to go upstairs. Um, and the way you kind of access that is you bust out this and put the scaffolding up here until they stop. And then you just go up and AFK when you come down. Uh, you kind of just break them down. I do expect a lot of scaffolding loss because of this roof. Um, when you break them, a lot of them will scatter and kind of fall up there. Uh, but having the spider farm for string and then uh, a lot of bamboo laying around, um, I could just whip together more of that. So I'm, I'm not too concerned about that. And so with it starting to rain again and the building finished off, uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and round this episode out. Um, make sure you check out my next episode where we are going to venture out due north, which is this way, due north. <laughs> and we're going to find a nice spot to actually get our real main base situated. Um, we can work on the subway system that goes across and kind of find out where that all is going to be at. Uh, we'll check that out on the next episode. Until then, don't forget to like and subscribe. And, uh... You guys have a nice night. And I broke my plans. <laughs>